El 3 de diciembre de 2023, los agentes de Dayton, Ohio, recibieron una llamada del propietario de un complejo de apartamentos. Según él, varios drogadictos y ocupas invadían su casa y se negaban a salir. Cuando se enfrentó a las sanguijuelas, uno de ellos le apuntó con un arma. Informados sobre la situación actual, el propietario y los oficiales entraron. El edificio parecía casi abandonado, pero a medida que los agentes seguían mirando a su alrededor, quedó muy claro cuán grave era la situación de los ocupantes ilegales. So you, is this your stuff or no? No, the furniture, that table, that was my stuff. Put all this other crap on here? Man, no. Like this clothes and shit? No, ain't no. Man, I had this place. This is, uh, like, just let you know, like, I've been having this for a while. That might be living here. Yeah, I know. When I came, when I came out of the day, that's when I found out. But they've been all through my place. What are these like guitars and stuff? Man, I man, I came here with well, 20 people in this building. I'm surprised that these tools um, are these your tools? Not only my tools. So if somebody working, it's a working guy living in here. Like, but ain't nobody supposed to be in here. Like this is like a bad dream for me. I put, I fix all of this up. Did you put this? No, like, I ain't put none like of that. that. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Somebody else, I'm like, like, okay, like, like, like they decorate this like a little Like these clothes. Okay, I've seen that yeah. before. But but, to but do they this, decorate it. You yeah. know, like the like. <laughs> Cause I love you, but the motherfucker living. Oh my god, they decorate this shit like. Nothing in here. Mm -hmm. Like this shit is like a nightmare for me. Like I put all my money into this place. 
bathroom. You know, like I fixed all of this stuff up. Yeah. This was it a bunch of fem- males, it females? It was males, white men. The white man pulled the gun out. Uh, That's why he said he's calling y'all. Yo, yeah, he, pull, he pulled the gun out, but you know, they, they like this stuff, like for me, like that's so much trauma. Like I carry a gun, you yeah. know what I mean? He pulled, he like, get the fuck off of this property. I said, this is my property. Like yeah. the people next door know I own this. I, I worked on all of this. Do you know his name or anything? No, I got a picture of him. Estos invitados no deseados habían tomado casi en su totalidad las habitaciones de la casa. I'm trying to find some ID or something. This one wasn't even just like this a couple days ago. They ain't had this on the wall, none of that. What about the, the shoes? The, sh- the shoes was in here. There was some shoes in here. Did you put these beds in No, I ain't had no beds in here. When I just came here the other day, it wasn't. It wasn't like no, you didn't put the bed frame. No, in it wasn't. So someone carried all this yes. heavy. Yes. And you, do you live like in Columbus? Like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, Columbus I live in Columbus, so I've been working and I ain't been able to come down here. But you know, I, I came down here to pay my taxes on um, on Thursday, and I came by to ride by, and I see people bringing bags, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? No era solo la sala de estar. Encontraron muchas otras habitaciones completamente amuebladas. Está claro que estos ocupantes ilegales estuvieron aquí por un largo tiempo. Luego, los oficiales suben las escaleras y se encuentran con la primera señal de vida desde que entraron al edificio. Dane, please, your side, make yourself known. Dane, please. You're inside, make yourself known. Okay. All right. Get your dog. Okay. All right. All right. It's all right. All right. It's okay, pup. Los agentes encontraron a una mujer enferma que tenía problemas para caminar. Intentaron sacarle información, pero ella afirmó no saber cuántas personas se habían alojado en el edificio. Entonces, la búsqueda continuó. Dang police! Should we just find a ticket? I don't know if anyone else is in here. Okay, 
something happened when screw that thing. I mean, we gotta get her out of here somehow, though. There gotta be somebody, because how would it be luck? They in place! That sounds like Scott. Yeah, I get Scotty. There gotta be somebody, how would it be luck? Yeah. What floor are you guys on? I smell incense. Over there. How do they even have a secure? Hey man. Flyers gonna need to get in that front door. Under there. Había un Okupa escondido debajo de la cama, y este se mostró mucho menos cooperativo que el anterior. I can't see her here. Don't let her get out of here, man. No, but I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Don't let her get out of here. Here, yeah, pull it out. Show me your hands. No, no. Show me your hands. I'm not showing you my hands. Get out of here. Show me your hands. No. Do it now. Get out of here. Do it now. I'm gonna tell you five more times. I'm gonna start shooting. Get out of here. El hombre se rehúsa agresiva y continuamente a las órdenes de los oficiales, así que decidieron usar la pistola eléctrica. Under the bed. We need to take some. All right, all right, all right, all right. El edificio aún no está desalojado. Los agentes tienen que lidiar con un ocupa más. He's got all kinds of injuries, so we'll check you downstairs. Okay. He can be checked out downstairs. But I'm still taking quick for a guy bucket. Well, what you said you did. It's with your legs. Oh, man. You're not very nice. Yeah, you do. He said you got a gun, you're going to start shooting at us. Yeah, I totally do. So he's right in the pocket. Yeah, exactly. 
needles fucking everywhere. Show me your fucking hands right now! Right now! I'm actually a caretaker, okay? I'm actually a caretaker. You're I'm not scared. You're scared. I'm just scared. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just scared. Take care of Soda. I am taking care of her. That's why I'm here. Damn it. That's why I'm here. I'm not doing nothing. I'm no, you're scared. doing fucking drugs. No, I'm not doing drugs. Yeah, right. I'm not doing drugs. I swear to God. I'm clean. I'm recovering. So you're staying in an opium den? No, it's not. This guy next door was paying, said he was working it off, letting me work it off for rent. I'm sorry. I'm really not. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not resisting that guy. That but you're hiding. Get up. Get up. I'm, Get up. I'm, well, I'm scared of the guy. And you're staying with him. You're going downstairs. Well, We're all scared, aren't we? I haven't even looked over here yet. Please. Okay. Please, nothing. Get in the car. No, absolutely not. We are not talking about that. Los tres ocupantes fueron arrestados y enfrentaron sanciones variadas. Ahora nos dirigimos a la tienda de helados y lácteos Brooms en Norman, Oklahoma. El 9 de septiembre de 2023, alrededor de las 6 de la mañana, los empleados notaron que algunos azulejos del techo, cableado y sistemas de cámaras, habían resultado dañados, por lo que llamaron a la policía. Lo que inicialmente parecía un robo, resultó ser algo bastante extraño. Los agentes descubrieron que un hombre, identificado más tarde como Philip Hickman, de 41 años, se había refugiado en el techo de la tienda, encaramado entre las vigas. A pesar de los intentos de los oficiales de comunicarse con él, Hickman permaneció sin responder, por lo que contactaron al departamento de bomberos para bajar al tipo. Just look to your right, you'll see him. He's up there in the rafters, about six foot away. Need a flashlight, man. Yeah, he's just like right here. Is he not like Ah, he'll move every now and then, but he's. No está claro cómo entró Hickman al edificio, ya que no había señales de entrada forzada. Sin embargo, derribarlo resultó ser un poco más trabajo de lo que esperaban. Thank you. 
Oh, he was outside. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Después de 10 minutos de empujar y empujar, Hickman luego desciende de las vigas. Fue arrestado de inmediato. What's your name? There you go. Scoot backward. Use your feet. Scoot backward. You guys can get going. Thanks, fellas. No problem. Hickman no robó nada de la tienda ni estaba bajo la influencia del alcohol. La policía sospecha que solo quería un lugar cálido para dormir. Fue acusado de allanamiento de morada y daño malicioso a la propiedad debido a los más de mil dólares en daños que supuestamente causó. Si es declarado culpable, se enfrentará a hasta dos años de prisión y una multa de hasta mil quinientos dólares. Nuestro siguiente caso nos lleva de regreso a Ohio, donde los agentes tuvieron que lidiar con un hombre que ocupaba lo que solía ser su casa. El 7 de diciembre de 2020, los agentes recibieron una llamada sobre un hombre con tijeras de podar que amenazaba a los trabajadores de la construcción. Este hombre era Virgil. She moved to another apartment because the, the landlord keep harassing, so we, they can move to another apartment away. So mm -hmm. all my stuff is in there. They took my $4,000 bike, put it in the back door, and tried to tear the locks off of it yesterday. I said, hey, y'all not allowed to touch tenants' property. If you know the law, you have to have a court to have a sheriff escort stuff out. You cannot touch my property. I know, property. but if a house is condemned, it's a little bit no, different. The, no, yeah, upstairs. Well, the bottom is not condemned. There's nothing wrong with the bottom. Right bottom. Right oh, so the electric there. bill, the water bill, the gas bill, everything works. It's in my name. You know what I'm saying? Everything's, I got current bills I just sold the police that just left. Three police officers so just left. Bill? Yeah, yeah, it's in my phone. I got it all to my email. I got all the current bills in my name. Look. Notice of this, notice I, of this dismissal for what? For all the evictions. This is eviction. Okay. This is the company that owns it. And look, notice of dismissal filed on six. Case status closed. They're illegally doing that this. That was in June. Yeah. Okay. The, the how, case, they've never got evicted. Nobody got evicted. Okay. Nobody did. That's They're why, illegally trying to take the house. That's what you're saying. But I, I'm not going to take your word for it, okay? I'm This not. is proof. That's not proof. That's something that's like several months old. There's a lot of time that's passed. From Los trabajadores estaban allí para tapiar la casa de Virgil que había sido condenada debido a un incendio. Sin embargo, tenía documentos de hace seis meses como prueba de que era residente legal de la propiedad. Decide hablarlo y aclarar la confusión. Um, there's no signage on here. Usually the fire department puts a sign up that says it's condemned. Um, I think it was code, code enforcement. Where are those signs? Um, I can, I, I can find out for you. Okay, because um, we, we unless can Unless they only... took it down. I haven't been on this property since it got burned down. 
Okay. Um, we can only act on what we can prove. Okay. Um, but right now, where we stand, this is a civil disagreement between y'all. Um, he's not going to stop. Uh, he, as far as our experience with the courts, they're going to probably say he has a stronger legal grounds than you do at this point. Um, without something official that you guys have in hand saying that there's not allowed to be anyone in here, mm -hmm. um, we don't have anything to enforce. Got it. Okay. I believe there was um, something posted, but I want to take Yeah, it but we need to see it. If we can't see it, then we'd be violating his rights. So the best thing to do is get the fire marshal out and recondemn it. Or, okay, you can okay, it. Without that, I, I can't force anything. I appreciate you guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's not about belief. Yeah. No, I just, uh, it, you know, he, he was threatening my guys. He had shears, you know, point out the case where we rolled but out. If, if it was a situation where, let's pretend for a second, he was completely in the right by being hey, here no, 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 then no, 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 if you no. if you try to force me out of my house i would threaten Total you with more than cheers for, uh, you know what i mean okay. so we have to there's without some proof we need to err on the yeah, side of caution so okay because yeah. it's that's a very expensive lawsuit for the city okay okay uh, man yeah. thank you I, i would love to give you guys what you want no i appreciate it all, all right uh, if you want we can say Luego se proporciona un documento que demuestra que a Virgil no se le permite ocupar el edificio. So right here it says 19 South Wheatland. Then right here it says this structure has been declared unsafe not to be occupied prior to repairs. Okay. They, okay, listen. Listen to me for a moment. They have permits that say this house is not to be occupied. Okay? I just went, I just read them with my own eyes. I've seen the paperwork from the building inspector. It's not from code enforcement, it's from the actual building inspector. He is saying that this place is not to be occupied. There's not allowed to have anyone inside. The, la la the landlord is not allowed to let anyone in because he can face criminal charges for letting you in this house. You are already in that. You have to leave now. You're officially on notice. So here's the thing. Code enforcement. I just told you it's not code enforcement, it's building enforcement. And I saw the paperwork. The, the house is condemned. It is, it's been deemed unsafe. I, I just I, to do that. I'm not I'm not going to explain it again. So here's the thing: okay, you have to go down to the court and you have to get basically a permission slip to come in and get your belongings. You Ohio law? When you okay. condemn a house, you have I know to a thing or two about Ohio law. Okay. I'm if trained. You Google it right now, Virgil. You have to put the, the tenants. Virgil, yeah. what you have to do right now is get your stuff and get off this property. Okay. And if you come back, you're subject to being charged okay. with trespassing. Okay. And you just lost, you just lost your bag. My, my cousin's the commissioner. Good. Los oficiales escoltaron a Virgil fuera de la propiedad y le informaron que lo arrestarían si regresaba. Regresó al día siguiente. Let's see if Virgil's inside. Man, that's some real determination. Virgil, I am the police. I talked to the police already. They came out. No, you're lying. You're full of Open this lying. door. They came out calling. Virgil. I talked to the minister, the code enforcement. I talked to the police. Virgil, open the door right now. Virgil, open the door right now. Virgil, open the door. I am the police. I'm the one that told you to leave. Open the door. Hey, I talked to the police. Hey, I talked to the officers already. They came out. Hey, no officers approved for to be here. Where do you have? Open the door. I will kick it in. I talked to the police. Open the door. I told the administration. You are breaking the law. Officer. It's a hell of a door. Call your boss. Call your boss. <laughs> I talked to them. Open the door. I talked to the fire department. Open it. I'm the officer. Open oh, it. Call your department. I am the department. I got a I got, I got witnesses in here now. Let's there are two witnesses in here. You, guys got you got two trespassers in there? No. They are in the police. Open the door. Here. It's coming in. All right, open. get it open. I have to get my clothes on. Open the door, my man. Can I get my clothes on? Open no, it open now. The door now. You're breaking the law. Okay? Open the door. I talked to your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Open the door. I talked to the administration and fire. Open the door. Man, I'm 
Virgil continúa rechazando las órdenes del oficial, insistiendo en que ya había hablado con la policía y tenía permiso para estar allí. Los agentes continúan entrando a la fuerza. Virgil, open the door. Virgil, open the door. I will get a ram and I will knock down this door. Just open it. Come on, bub. Open the door. And you do. Officer, Nope. the third shift. Open it. Officer, talk the third shift. I got permission from 10 officers. When I need, uh, can anyone respond to the ram? I, have, I have permission to be here. Well, I'm, not I, to I'm the one that told you you're not allowed to be here. I'm the one that read the permits. After that, nope. it. Nope. That permit's not valid. There was never a convention. The first one across the street. Open they the door, Virgil. They called you this way. Open the door. La puerta parecía estar barricada, lo que dificultaba bastante la entrada forzada. Entonces los oficiales piden a alguien del equipo de construcción que derribe la puerta. Esposado y escoltado hasta la parte trasera de una patrulla policial, Virgil siguió insistiendo que su historia era cierta. A pesar de sus afirmaciones, fue arrestado por allanamiento de morada, un cargo que puede resultar en hasta 180 días de cárcel y una multa de hasta mil dólares. En el siguiente caso, los agentes del condado de Whatcom, Washington, 
tuvieron que soportar condiciones verdaderamente insalubres para realizar un arresto. El 13 de enero de 2023, agentes del condado de Whatcom, Washington, intentaron entregar una orden judicial a un hombre identificado únicamente como Logan. Lo buscaban por cargos de robo y acoso por delitos graves. Do you prefer Logan or a uh, different name? Yeah. I would just leave it. Yeah. Logan? Come on out, dude. Zip up. Oh, I'm gonna kill you now, motherfucker! Don't do, die. don't do that. You're gonna die, motherfucker! Here's the warrant. Why? Right, go ahead and leave it, motherfucker! No, you're under arrest, partner. For what? For residential burglary and felony harassment, mm -hmm. just like you just kill, threatened to kill me. You have airsoft. You have airsoft weapon. No. Did you hear everything we said about the warrant and that you're under arrest? For what? You are under arrest. For what? For residential burglary. For what? For taking the things out of her house over there and for what threatening house? to kill her. Who kill? Huh? Okay. For what kill? So come on out. Come on out. No, we're not coming out. We I am want, not coming out. We don't want to come in and get well, you. Toss Here's it in a... and you'll get it. There you go, toss it in. Go right ahead. There. Right there. Logan comenzó increíblemente poco cooperativo e incluso hostil con los oficiales. Pero a medida que avanza el encuentro, comienza a parecer más confundido en todo caso. Why? I've got a... For fuck's sake! We don't want to damage your tent. All right, can I get dressed first? Quickly. Sure. Quickly. For fuck's sake, dude. Throw some pants on and come out. You're under don't arrest. get... I... You're going to cuff me? Yep. Come on in! Please put your pants on. Let's I'm going to get my axe. Do I'm, not get your axe. I'll get my goddamn axe. I'm gonna hit you with pava around. Don't with please. Spray. Do will, not reach for an axe. I will comply. Keep your hands right. where I can see him. I will get my underwear on, please. Can you not shoot me? Okay, well you've got you got just a few seconds here to comply. Uh, because when shoot. you're threatening us with an axe, I'm not we're not messing around. I I am very physically ill. Please treat me as that such, please. Well, All when right? you're when you're threatening to kill us, that's not a that doesn't. I did not threaten to kill you. You did. Yeah, you did. You said you're gonna. Okay. I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers. I said I have quote. an axe. Leave me alone. If you want to leave that there, I will go. Yep. Can okay. I, can I get dressed? Yep. Put your pants on. I'm sure. not putting my long underwear on. Leave me alone for a second, please. Can I get dressed? We're not, we're not gonna go. We're standing right here. You gotta get dressed right now. Put some pants on. It's pretty simple. You want me to go to the hospital? You want to, me to go to the hospital? Today you're going to the Whatcom County Jail. You're under arrest. I, I can't be any more clear than that. Let me, uh, let me find something to wear, okay? Can I find something to wear? Don't be reaching around in places I can't see. Just you see what I'm doing, right? Yep, I'm just put some boring. pants on. Me up? Maybe that box right there. I need an answer from you. Are you going to lock me up or take me to the you hospital? You are under arrest. You will be going to jail. You are under arrest you right now. Ways? So, yes, you will be yeah. locked up. Okay, good call. Deborah, Deborah Ann Wall. Deborah Ann Wall is informing you right now to be very careful with me. You got it? Got it. Great. Understood. Are you going to cuff me? Yes, you are going to be handcuffed. That's, that's standard procedure, yeah. Oh, great. Here we go again. Let's see, I need some pants. Can I reach for some pants? Those look good. Those what what you got out. on is great. Yep. No, no, it's not. They're going to give you some fresh, clean ones down there. Yeah. I'm going to put these on, right, okay? Which ones? These ones. I can't see. So All right, yeah, no, yeah. We're, good. we're good. He's got, got pants. Full visual. Okay, you tell me. Some nice car hearts there. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, no problem. Maybe those flip-flops? Uh, yeah, flip uh, can I wear my boots? Whichever goes on nice and easy, because they're going to give you f something fresh to wear down there. Great, not a problem. Good. Yeah, crap. Ah, shit, I can't wear these. They're covered with shit. Let's see what I got. I'm not wearing that. 
Thanks for being patient with me. I've been in here a long fucking time. Could yeah. You not, could you not point that at me? Well, when, you, when you're threatening to kill us, oh, he's no, going to no, point no, no, it no. at you. No, no, no. I, I had somebody come in here and try and attack me. Okay. Wait, All right. they, it's I, not, it's not hey, a man, ready right now. You know what? Pretend. We're making progress. Yeah. Great. I like the way this is going. Great, so thank you. Just find I'm a pair really of pants. And Ill. I mean, the, I've been in here a while. The, oh, God. The weapon is just a precaution, right? Just oh, oh, focus no. on us. I and, appreciate That's exactly right. Yeah. Point it down. Yep, that's what we're doing. Mientras Logan todavía está decidiendo qué pantalones usar, o si debería usar pantalones, un oficial decide que ya terminó de mirar los desechos humanos en la tienda y los cubre. Socks and boots, Logan, socks and boots. Logan, how would you know my name? From okay. the person who L let you stay here. L. Hence, and what's your name? Something like <clears throat> Brown? Uh huh. And you're. Brown. My God, he's got. He's got There's a, a lot of brown on here, here, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Listen. Let's see, what do I do? What's, uh. I'm gonna clean something. What's your main uh, complaint? Is it a yeah, sore stomach or what? Uh, let's see here. Let me move this out. Logan. Right Logan, what's preventing you from just getting some of them socks and uh, those boots? Logan, no. Logan, focus. You don't need a pen. You don't need poop. You poop. need your boots. Poop. You're, you're standing in shamanic poop. I know. Wolverine. So I think it'd be good for really? all the five of us the really? quicker we get out of here. Yeah, I should probably get out of here. Quickly. Including you. No. Yeah. All right. We go were making. All right, whatever. Let's go. We have a jug of water. All right, you know what? What's in your pants? This is hilarious. Logan, shoes or you're going in bare feet. Let's go. Bare feet going where? To the jail. To what jail? You're under arrest. The Whatcom County, the Whatcom County Jail. Whatcom County Jail. There is no Whatcom. Oh God, look at you. You're so sick. This is what it looks like. Another hokey dokey. It's a vacuum cleaner attached. Let's go. No, I'm not. Time's running out. Time running what? Like whatever. Logan, I really don't want to go in your tent. You really don't. I'm Logan, if you don't comply, you're going to get pepper balled. Because we're not coming in there with you threatening us with weapons, so you will be pepper balled if you don't comply. You understand? The officers eventually run out of patience and figure they might need to use more extreme methods to get Logan out. Nope. On. He's get him on. Cut a wicked big hole in the side of this. We're going to cut a hole in the side so we don't have to go through all your poop. 15. That's what we're going to do. This is fast. 15. Anyway. Lawgivers? 13. Right? Ucha Klingar! Wow, I'm just gonna stand here. Nice. I don't want to damage your tent. Hey, Mormon. All right, I am hey. putting my boots on. Am I putting my boots on? Put those flip flops on right there. Right where? Right below you. Right below where? You just stepped over them. Right here? Right here? Right there? The brown ones. What where? My God, you have nothing but toys. Your your children. Yeah. No. All right, come in. All right. Wow, fast. I don't want to do this. Do what? I'm gonna cut a hole in your tent. Ow. With a knife. With what? Knife? Like he's holding his hand. What knife? Put those. Last chance. Put those flip flops on there, right in front of you, and walk out of here. No. All right. I guess your tent's gonna get ruined. All right, sir. I am now getting my shoes on. No, you're not. Come out here on. now. I'm putting them on. I'm putting them on. I got my flip flops. Don't shoot me. I got my flip flops. I'm coming out. Step out of the tent where they're at. Ooh. Step out now. Step down. Can I put my flip flops on? Yeah, right. Thank you. Step out. Thank you. Please be gentle, with me, sir. I've been traumatized severely. Los oficiales se quedan sin paciencia y piensan que tal vez necesiten usar métodos más extremos para sacar a Logan. Okay. All right. Thank you. I was trapped in there. Step out and face away from me. Please don't hurt me. Step, Step out and face no away from me. You're going to cuff me. No one's going to hurt oh you. Oh, my God. Please don't hurt okay. me. Hands behind your back. Please We're not going to hurt you. Relax, We're Logan. Not gonna Relax. Hurt you, man. We're not going to hurt you. Don't cuff me. Oh, my God. Don't hurt me. You're not going to be hurt, all right? Thank you. Get with it. Of course. Thank you. No reason to hurt you. Oh my god. Oh, dude. I can fit a whole finger in that one. Sir, sir, one thank too. you. 
That's an attraction. Here, I'm gonna take off my flip flops. No, nope, keep them on. We're gonna walk out to the car. Look at me. I'm sore. Man, I've been sick for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Very right. ill. We'll we'll get you to see a nurse. Okay? Thank you. Yep. Oh my God. Okay. All right. We're gonna walk to my car and then we'll remind you of your All rights. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, okay. I'm so ill. God. I'm so sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, living in that environment you're living in is not helping your sickness. I know, I know. So you'll be in a clean place with clean clothes, oh, thank a you. shower, food. Oh, God. Can yeah. I get a haircut? Uh... Con un agujero en el costado de su tienda, Logan salió y, por supuesto, fue arrestado de inmediato. Thank you. I was trapped in there. Step out and face away from me. Please don't hurt me. Well, Step out and face away from me. You're going to cuff me. No one's going to hurt you. Oh my you. God. Yeah. Please don't hurt okay. me. Hands behind your back. Please We're not going to hurt you. Relax, We're Logan. Not gonna Relax. Hurt you, We're not going to hurt you. Don't cuff me. Oh my God. Don't hurt me. You're not going to be hurt, all right? Thank you. Get rid of Of course. Thank you. No reason to hurt you. Oh my God. Oh, dude. I can fit a whole finger in that one. Sir. Sir, one thank too. you. That's an attraction. Here, I'm gonna take off my flip flops. No, nope, keep them on. We're gonna walk out to the car. Look at me, I'm sore. Man, I've been sick for so long. Yeah. Yeah, very right. ill. We'll we'll get you to see a nurse. Okay? Thank you. Yep. Oh my God. Okay. All right. We're gonna walk to my car and then we'll remind you of your right. rights. Okay. Yeah. I'm, so, be fine. I'm so okay. sick. I'm so ill. God. I'm so sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, living in that environment you're living in is not helping your sickness. I know, I know. So you'll be in a clean place with clean clothes, oh, thank a you. shower, food. Oh, God. Can yeah. I get a haircut? Uh, probably, no, probably eventually, yeah. I'll see a nurse. Did you, Did you get the corona? Did you get the injection? Did you get the corona injection? I, I, I got corona. Fire. No, no, no. You need, you need D3 and vitamin C. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I good. take vitamin C every day, oh, yeah. Yeah, good. And D3. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank yeah, you guys. We don't get a lot of Let's walk around this puddle so you thank don't you. get totally soaked. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Logan fue ingresado en la cárcel del condado de Watcom bajo cargos de robo y acoso por delitos graves. Eso equivale a hasta 15 años de prisión y una multa de hasta 30 mil dólares si es declarado culpable. Nuestro siguiente caso nos lleva a Clearwater, Florida, donde se llamó a los agentes para que se ocuparan de un posible ocupante ilegal. Era el 13 de octubre de 2012, cuando los agentes recibieron una llamada sobre un hombre de aspecto sospechoso merodeando por una casa. Este hombre era Brent Bailey y estaba tratando de entrar a una casa usando el sitio web Open Door, una empresa en línea que compra y vende bienes raíces residenciales. Hold on, just, hold on, you stay on the phone with me. There's a clear water police officer here. What's your name? Bailey. Bailey? We, I'm Bailey. Okay. So we got a couple calls from uh, people in the area said you were just kind of milling around this house, hanging out on the front porch. I'm talking stuff. to the landlord now. I'm going to rent this house. He gave me directions on how to get into the house. I'm talking to him now. Okay. Hold on, yeah. sir. Here's a clear water police officer. Hold on. Are you there, Mr. Williams? Okay, here he is. Hi, this is Officer Moria with Clearwater PD. Who am I speaking with? Good. Uh, what is your relation to this house? I own the property. I work for the Open Door. You work for Open Door? Okay. Uh, so were you were you trying to give this gentleman instructions on how to get into the house? Yeah, definitely. I'm giving all the instructions on how to make it up the Open Door app. Is that something you guys normally do for just random people who call you and show up in front of the house? Yeah, definitely. It's just that store. So they use the open door app to affect the property. All righty. Um, all right, I'm going to give you back to the gentleman. Kiss your ID there real quick. So how is it that he was supposed to get in the house? You use the open door app. The open door app. Okay. And then when you use the app, I had to go to the front door and it gives you instructions off the phone. You take a picture of your ID, the front and the back. And you take a picture of the front and back. The combination on the front door wasn't working. 
he's talking to me on the phone. He tells me to walk around to the side door, the back door. Okay. He's got sliding doors here. Okay. I go around the back. He says, you see the pool? I said, yes, I do. He said, do you like what you see? I said, yeah, yes, I, I do. Keep that. La historia de Bailey ya tenía un par de agujeros. Por un lado, Open Door no alquila casas, solo los venden. Además, no estaba hablando por teléfono con el propietario, estaba hablando por teléfono con un empleado de Open Door tratando de acceder a la casa. El oficial decide tomar su identificación y pasarla por el sistema. Jot down some information while we're here, and then I'll, I'll give you back to him. And if that's what you guys normally do, then that's uh, that's up to you. So. All right, I'm going to stay. My, okay. my stuff is here. You had it in your hand just a minute ago. Do you know where you put it? Yeah. There it is. Oh. Hello, Brandy. I'm right here. I'm right here. Can you stand with him for a second? I left my notepad in the car. Existe una gran posibilidad de que Bailey estuviera tratando de acceder a la casa y comenzara a ocuparse allí. Y también podría haberlo logrado si no fuera por sus órdenes judiciales activas. Okay. Sorry, Officer Maria. I was just trying to buy a house and rent. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you have the application for me tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow and fill out the application. I'd like to move in by the first. Okay, you want to talk to the officer before I go? No. Okay. Okay, I'll text you my email address after I get off the phone. What is a good phone number for you? Uh, 727-4130, uh -huh. Officer Maria. And Brent's your first name? Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are you staying? I see it, two, five. Yes. Oh, hold on. All right, Brent. Um, so here's the, the only other little issue uh, that we have here. Can I, uh, can my partner talk to the guy from the real estate agent yeah, again yeah. here? All right, yeah. you can hang on to that for me. I need you to put your hands behind your back. Mm -hmm. You have somebody who wants to talk to you and we'll get it all figured out here in a minute. Okay. All right, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll that wrist like that. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, Mr. Brent, you apparently have a warrant out for your arrest for failing to show up for a court date on theft charges originally, violation of probation. That's not true. I just went to court uh, Monday. Bailey tenía una orden de arresto activa por no presentarse a una cita en la corte después de violar su libertad condicional. Él lo negó alegando que tenía programada una fecha de audiencia diferente y que ya había acudido al tribunal. Here's what we're going to do for right now. They're telling me that you have a warrant. We're going to go over to my car. They're going to check everything. And so if what you're saying is true and there's just like a, a lapse in the paperwork or something like that, yeah, uh -huh. then the, the cuffs come off as fast as they go on. Right. So for right now, we got to just go through that process because right. that's still in the system, okay? Yeah, I just went to court, sir, Monday, downtown 49th Street. Just, just uh, like two days ago, yes, Monday? Monday, yes. All right. Well, here, in just a second, I'll be able to look at that and I'll yeah. tell you when it was issued. All right. Real quick, before you get in the car, do you have anything on you no. dangerous? Anything that would cut me, poke me, stick no. me? All right. Anything that would get you in trouble if you did end up going no. down to jail? All right. Any other pockets other than the ones here on your basketball no. shorts? No. All right. No. Temple. All right, go ahead. Have a seat here for right now. Yeah. And let me look at everything and I'll fill you in as soon as I can, all right? Ya puedes ver cómo fueron las cosas desde aquí. El oficial revisó el sistema y no hubo problemas de programación. Bailey fue acusado de no comparecer ante el tribunal un delito punible con un máximo de un año de cárcel, un año de libertad condicional y una multa de mil dólares. En el siguiente caso, de camino a Tampa Bay, Florida, los agentes se ocuparon de James Falman, de 43 años, un ocupante ilegal que simplemente no sabía cuándo renunciar. 
El 22 de noviembre de 2022, los agentes llegaron a una casa en la bahía de Tampa, donde Falman había estado en cuclillas. Llegar allí fue fácil. Sin embargo, sacar a Falman. Hey, you are not in trouble, man. It's not with you. Open the door. Open the door, man. We know you are there inside. Tú estás adentro. Sabemos que estás ahí, sal y no vas a tener problema. Esto no es contigo. Sheriff's office. Come to the door. Sheriff's office. Come out with your hands up. Sale con las manos arriba. Ya estamos adentro. Let's go! Sheriff's office! Got a hallway to the left, to the right. Take him to the right. Los oficiales ya saben que Falman está en la propiedad, lo que significa que está ignorando intencionalmente sus órdenes. Sheriff's office. I need you to come on out, man. Come on out. We know you're in here. Sheriff A medida que los agentes continúan registrando la propiedad, ven cada vez más señales de que hay alguien en la casa y que alguien se esconde en algún lugar. Fue entonces cuando se encontraron con el dormitorio en el que claramente alguien estaba durmiendo. When they came across the bedroom, someone was clearly just sleeping in. Clear on the left. Sheriff's office! I got it. Sheriff's office! Get out from there! Get out of there! Show me your f***ing hand! Get out! Move. Now! You don't hear me! Get the f*** out now! Tu hablas español! Get out! Out! Right here! Right here! Facing down! I'm now! Just coming! Coming down! Show me your hands! Both hands on the ground and crawl out! 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 All the way out! All the way out! All the way out! Come on out! More! More! Hands behind your back! Después de un arresto tan tenso, los oficiales tenían algunas preguntas para Falman. Face that, face that wall. 
Why you didn't respond to us? No, you was not sleeping. What's going on? You were sleeping inside the closet? Going Bro, on? I'm going to James, explain in a few minutes. James, because when I came up, you saw me and I parked and you went right inside. So to don't, don't start We got some slides over here. We'll put them on your feet and you're going to come and take a seat in our car. Okay. Who else is in here with you? Nobody. You just been squatting in here? No. So, what are you doing in here? I rented the house. Let's go to the car real quick. We'll have a seat there and then we'll talk. Lo creas o no, Falman no alquilaba el lugar. A pesar de haber sido arrestado, volvió a ocupar la misma casa nueve días después. Esta vez, lo acompañaba un amigo. Una vez más, le correspondió a la policía sacarlo. James, come to the door, buddy. I don't want to do this all over again. Come to the door, please. Thank you. We got the house surrounded, please. We got the house around it again. Come to the door. Come to the door, James. How's it going, James? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Why are you still here? Well, um, I haven't got my stuff out yet. I guess a week. Okay. You, you knew the deal. Yeah, my mom is in the hospital. Hold on a second. She is in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can call her and verify that. And I had to go away uh, out of town. Put some slides on, we're going to talk about the car. And I'll explain what's going to happen. So am I going to jail? Right now, we're going to talk first and see if what you're saying is true. I'd like to verify what you're saying. Anybody else in here with you? Uh, yes. Who? Um, what's here? Hey, buddy. I need you to come out too. I got to talk to you too. All right, you're not under arrest or anything right now? Any weapons or anything on you? No. Okay, you mind if we just pat you down real quick just to make sure you don't have anything? Yeah. James, if you come out this way, yes, we'll just pat him down. Right there. All right. So, you come over here, I'll talk to you, and we're going to stay with him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right up right there. Después de una mayor investigación, se reveló que James Falman no era un ocupa cualquiera. Robó la casa de una anciana después de que ella falleciera y estaba tratando de venderla. Resulta que Falman había virlado las identidades de cuatro propietarios y falsificado escrituras en un intento de vender sus casas. Aceptó un acuerdo y fue sentenciado a 10 años de prisión. Llegados aquí, ¿acaso no has visto este otro incidente? Yo no me lo perdería, ¿eh?